money, please. Helps, please. Rupees, please. I have so much of money. I wonder what I'll buy at the marketplace today. Ma'am, please can I have some money? You, you filthy beggar, don't be talking to me. I will give you this beautiful golden flower, baby. I don't want your flower, baby. Stop it. I'm on my way to do my nails. So, please can I have some rupees or elves? This is all my spending money. And I will I give you this. But I hope it will do. No, please, sir, take this beautiful golden flower, baby. No. Please, I insist. All right, thank you. My mother will be happy. A golden egg from this golden flower, baby? I need to show my this. What's going on here? I got a golden egg. How come he gets the golden egg? Because he has been generous and has given me money. You filthy beggar, I should have just thrown you a few cents. My name is Mrs. J. Dasra. I'm Deputy Principal at Dr. Yusuf Dadu Primary School in Dazadville, and I'm currently teaching English home language for Grade 7. Boys and girls, did you enjoy the skit? Yes! All right, that skit is related to the folk tale that we are going to do. But before we continue, what is a folk tale? Yes, Oratile? Traditional beliefs, most and customs passed on from generation to generation in the form of stories. Tell me, are there any traditional beliefs or folk tales that some of your parents may have handed down to you? Over, King? That the Khausa in the Zulu culture, uh, the boys, the children of the boys, when, when they have to get circumcised, they go to the mountains. Okay, you're talking about initiation practices. Okay, is there any other traditional beliefs or folklores that are endemic to other cultures? Patience. Madam, in my Zulu culture, when you respect your parents, you will have luck in your future. So if you respect your parents, you'll get luck in the future. I remember my grandmother telling me an old belief. She says if a boy is born with two crowns, he'll have two wives. So girls, don't look for the boy with the two crowns. Just make sure it's one. Our lesson for today was uh, the learners had to listen to a folktale. They had to identify features of a folktale and uh, they had to also identify the correct sequence of events in the folktale. Okay, boys and girls, I would now like you to look at the cover of the folktale that we are doing today. It's Mufara's Beautiful Daughters by John Steptoe. Now, I'd like you to have a look at the cover page. Who can tell me what you can see? in terms of the characters and their expressions. Yes, uh, Mongezi? Oh, ma'am, uh, I think uh, the woman has to, uh, to has overconfidence in herself and is more, I think is more selfish to her. Is she similar to the lady you met at the introduction? The lady who did not want to give anything to the beggar? Is her, her facial expression similar to that? Where do you think the story may be set? Yes, Fatima Meter. Ma'am, I think the story takes place in the countryside. A countryside? Yes, Adila? Ma'am, I think it takes place in Africa because of the, the, how the lady is dressed. So it's the traditional garb that she's wearing that is endemically African, isn't it? Okay, boys and girls, I want you to uh, listen very carefully to me. We're going to do a reading activity for this lesson. Now, very carefully and slowly stand up. Remember this activity is important for reading because it's going to open up your vocal cords and your jaw muscles. So I'm going to see all those facial expressions, those actions. Are we good to go? Yes! Right. As usual, boys and girls, you are going to follow Madam as well as the video. Come on, shake those hips. Form, form, form the banana. Peel, peel, peel the banana. Slice, slice, slice the banana. Go, go, go bananas. Uh, the Go Bananas video is an excellent exercise for warming up the vocal cords because it gives the children an opportunity to open the mouth, to release the jaw and to say words like bounce and jump 
and slice and things like that. Boys and girls, are you ready to listen to a story? Yes! Good. I know that you are used to Gogo telling you stories, but today we have a visitor who's going to tell you a story. So in order to prepare for her to come into our class, we need to close our eyes and you will know when she's here. So close your eyes. Hi girlfriend, hi boyfriend, are you ready for a story? Yes! Where's Mrs. Dasra? So are we good to go? Yes. Can, we, can we go crazy? Yes! Okay, Mufara's beautiful daughters. A long time ago, in a small village, a half a day's journey from where the great king lived, lived a man named Mufaro and his two beautiful daughters, Manyara and Niasha. Manyara was very mean-tempered. Whenever her father's back was turned, she teased her sister. Someday, Niasha, I will be queen. Dolores is my alter ego in the classroom. She comes in with a whole lot of fun behind her. She came in and she read a story uh, the story on Mufaro's Daughters for the Learners in a fun and exciting way which the learners appreciated. Did you enjoy that story? Yes! But you know I've got a girl, Mrs. Dastrath will be back. Hmm, our little secret. Bye! Bye! As an educator I find that the chalk and talk method is outdated. E-learning and drama is the way to go. And if you're going to get the learners excited about anything and even if you're going to have discipline and good classroom management to that effect, your teaching methodology has to be dynamic, it has to be spontaneous, it has to be exciting, it has to be fresh. Okay, boys and girls, it's now time for us to read the story. Right, everybody open to their text. Right, remember the golden rule when you are reading, follow with your finger so that we don't miss out any words. We read with expression, we read with the correct pace, tone of voice and register. And facial expression, when you are reading, don't forget that you are reading for an audience. So think about how you are reading and how it sounds. Right, Lisang will read, uh, stand up Lisang. She'll be doing independent reading. You may read. Early one morning. A messenger from the city arrived. The great king wanted a wife. The messenger announced, the most worthy and beautiful daughters in the land were invited to appear before the king. He will choose one of them to be his king. Thank you. We are now going to do paired reading. Ubaidullah and Nasser you may stand. Mufaro called his daughters to him. It would be great honor if one of you were chosen. Prepare yourselves to journey to the city. It's important to teach our learners the different types of reading. More often educators just focus on one style of reading and then learners don't relate to that. So what I do in the classroom is to start them on independent reading, move towards paired reading and as they grow in confidence, group reading and then obviously it would be the guided reading where I read and the learners follow. Reading has to be fun, it has to be exciting. So you got to entice the learners to want to read. At the end of the day, that's what you want to do. When you show reading as being fun and exciting. <laughs> 